Hi and welcome. This video is going to discuss a step-by-step -step overview of how to complete the movie box office case. So you work as a financial analyst for a major movie studio and your job is to do some research in the movie studio industry. Your boss would like to know a lot of information. The first batch of information he'd like to know or she would like to know is from the cost database. So that's that this tab right here. And they need to know this year-based information is laid out in the year-based data. So we're going to use the cost data worksheet to find the information that when entered into the year-based data worksheet. So here's everything that they want us to, to, to figure out. And that's already written in to the top of this uh, year-based data. So and it looks like we want by year. So it looks like we need to break things out by year. So, first thing we're going to do is resize these. This seems to be not equal. Okay. So, you need total, bulk, uh, total domestic box office by year, year over year change, worldwide gross with, uh, with box office change, total production cost, year over year change, and gross margin percent. So, let's start with those, those areas. So, here we have um, a release date and I want to be I'm going to create a pivot table to get the totals by year so when I have a um, information like this and I need the year to get out of it first thing I think of doing is going to the uh, text to column so here I'm going to break up I'm going to use other and use forward or backslash and hit next. And this will break my date up into three columns. Now I don't really need month or um, day. So I'm just going to put in the date and I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Okay, so now I have my release date in the actual day, actual year of release. So now I'm going to highlight my area go to insert and select pivot table and we create a new worksheet here and we're going to rename that cost pivot table okay so let me just shrink this a bit here's my field so I know I want to do by released year so I'm going to put that as the rows so here are the years I want to reverse this um, yeah, from largest to smallest. Okay. Now I can add in, and let's look what, what the, I'm going to do domestic, worldwide, and then production costs. So domestic, worldwide, and then production costs. Okay. So now I have my sums per year. I'm going to go ahead and forecast this into dollars okay now also so now how do I get this into my worksheet here so I'm going to hit equals move the pivot table so equals and enter I'm also going to move my pivot table over here okay so now I'm going to move this down. Okay, so that didn't, there. I see there are absolutes here. Okay, so this, what I found up here is that in this field, if I copy this down, I'm not getting it, each of the year's data in there. So what I need to do is, it pulled in this 2019. I'm going to replace that with the A2. Hit enter. And now I should be able to copy that down. So what I did is I removed the absolutes and replaced the year with A2. So now I could easily copy down the results from the pivot table. And just checking to see. I should always double check that the data is coming over correctly. So I just did a quick check. It's coming over correctly. So now I'm going to move to um, 
next box I'm going to do, oops, where am I? Here we go, is the year over year change. So there is no year over year change for 2019, but for 2018, I could say new, we're going to use my parentheses first, a new minus old divided by old. So this gives me my year over year change. So the formula I use for this is the new year minus the old year divided by the old year. That's just a um, it's just a very simple year over year change and the box office went down 1.7 percent year over year. So I'm just going to copy this down and move on to total worldwide gross. So again I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to say equals go to the pivot table worldwide gross and then hit enter. So now I know I already know I have to take out because the way it moves over from the pivot table I'm going to take out the, the A3 lock and then I'm going to go and remove 2019 and use the cell A2 from 2019. Now 2019 is still as of the recording of this video still going on so we don't get a full year here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're still going to calculate year over year. And I can actually take the formula from here and move it over. And if you want to, um, because it's the same new minus old divided by old, so I can just capture that formula over here. Total production costs. Again, I'm going to go right to the pivot table. Select the production cost from the pivot table. And move this to currency. And now I and again take out those absolutes and change the year to a two. And this is going to ensure I could double click it down so that all of the information will flow directly down. And then the year over year change. Again, how we calculate this is the new year's information minus the old year's information divided by the old year's information. And let's copy this down. Okay. So gross margin percent. How do we calculate a gross margin? Well, gross margin, so um, uh, this should be on the world gross, because this is the total gross um, Domestic is just U.S. box office. The world gross is total receipts. Box office receipts or sales. So that's what we work with here. We take our sales minus our costs. And this is going to be our profit. So, uh, so what we're going to do here is just make the column big enough. And this is currency. Okay. So this is only the first part is calculating the profits. We still have to divide. So once we calculate the profits, we divide the profits by the total sales and we get a profit margin here. And this should be percent. Can copy this down. So this is the um, profit margins in every year for the box office, the cost of the cost of the films and the actual sales. Now this is just the gross box office, not the actual net profit the film studio sees. Okay, so now we have average worldwide box office. So we now need an average. So if I go back to the pivot table, and if I call up the pivot table instructions, I can actually change these to um, average. But you know what? I'm not going, I don't want to mess up because I'm drawing data from these cells. So I'm going to go back to the cost data and I'm going to create a new pivot table. Okay. And this one again is going to be, we're going to take the release date, it's going to be our rows, and then production world, domestic, you know, how do we do that? Domestic world and production costs. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change um, 
I'm going to move this. I don't think you can see. I'm going to move this down so I can go in here and I can select value field settings and put it to average. And so I'm moving it from sum to averages. Okay, so now you see how it changes the title here, average average of domestic, worldwide, and productive. So now I have the averages for the year. And I'm going to just format that into currency. Okay, so now I have the averages. So I can go back to, let's go back to the spreadsheet and we can input we need to input the information we want world worldwide and production costs okay so we only need the averages for those two so if i go to the second pivot table let's move this over here and we'll call it cost let's we'll call it cost database a v g so no it's average so Actually, we don't need domestic, so I'm going to uncheck domestic. We just need worldwide and production. So let me go to my tab, and I'm going to say, just like before, equals. I'm going to go to the average worldwide and press enter. And then I can do the average production as well, equals production, enter. And then the average gross profit margin per year. So I'm going to say, again, parentheses, oops, parentheses, sales minus costs divided by sales. Okay. So let's put this into a percent. So <clears throat> you can see the the average is lower than the gross here so that's interesting uh, but the also the average worldwide box office is lower so on average we have um, vastly different numbers than what the year based data is telling us so I'm going to format this again Oh, why does it say 1963? Oh. I think the cause, let me just set this up to this. And, yeah. I think that's because over here you'll see that this is sorted. Just highlight this. This is sorted the wrong direction. So I'm going to go and change this to the right direction. All right. But in here, if I change the dates, it automatically will pull. And that could be a reason, a big reason why the the margin was off so much so it should be this should be the same which it is now okay and I'm going to copy these down and see 278 266 okay just verifying the data is coming over correctly so now we have the average and here we could move this out So we have, so you can see that the total worldwide, we have the totals here, but it's nice to see the average, what's the average box office and the average cost per film. So we get a better idea of what the averages are for the movie industry of that year. Now what we're moving over here, we have three columns called the inflation adjusted by, inflation adjusted average sales by film, average cost by film, and profit margin by film. So, so what we're working here is these three yellow box, these three blue boxes. So, 
title should be changed to make it more congruent with what we're doing. And I should type this worldwide gross here. And I just noticed that worldwide is, so we're missing a D here in worldwide. And this should be average production costs per film. And then we have inflation adjusted average profit margin per film. Okay, so this is basically a time value of money problem. So what we're doing is we want to adjust these past films for inflation. So it's not fair to compare $1980 to uh, $2019. So for um, 2019, we could just bring in the current information because there is it's the current year, so there would be no inflation adjustment. But for 2019, and let me just bring the year in here so it's easier to see. Okay, so for 2018, we do have an inflation adjustment. So we need to take, it's going to be a present value problem. Um, no, we're going to raise this to a future value. So I'm going to go ahead and use my formulas, insert function, future value. Okay, so I want to find a future value. So the rate is going to be in the memo talks about a 3% inflation rate. The N per is going to be 2019 minus 2018. And the present value will be the current present value of 2018 worldwide gross. So I hit OK. Now. Okay, so you see how there's a negative number here. So that's because of the nature of the present value problem. So how to fix this is in the present value, add a negative sign before the cell we're selecting. And that will turn it into a positive number. So we see that the, two, the 287 increased to 286, and so it's elevating it to a 2019 level adjusted for inflation. Now we can easily, these are set up so we can easily copy this down, and we'll see that in the one thing that is not correct is that the years. So I needed to lock down A2 because the years are not drifting properly. So I don't want A2 which is 2019 to change. I do want the A3 to change as this formula is copied down. So now, and I can tell because, you know, 92 million in 1980 is not 95 million today. So another quick check of the numbers. Let me copy this down. And this makes more sense. $92 million in 1980 is 280, 292, 292 million today. Okay. And the reason that we're doing this is that you want to compare like amounts for time-adjusted inflation. Okay. Now, we want to do the same thing for inflation. So we're going to go here and again insert the future value formula. So that's what we're trying to find. The inflation rate is 3%. N per is going to be 2019 minus the current year. But we're going to lock down 2019. The present value, you can start with a negative for the average production film cost. I'm going to hit OK. Now this is done in a way that we could easily copy this down. And we can see that we want to remove the change 
and just checking the numbers to see if they make sense and they do make sense and now we could copy down the profit margin so now the profit margins will be adjusted for inflation but they're on the same it's the same percentile so the profit margin shouldn't change so if the profit margin is the same we're okay now the final fill the final field here is um, to put the name of the number one movie per year so this is something that I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm going to leave this as a sort of a challenge to create, um, figure out a shortcut, maybe an if statement, maybe a lookup, something that's going to put the name of the number one grossing. So we know, go back to the cost database, in 2019 we know that number one grossing movie so far um, at the time of this list is going to be believe uh, Avengers Infinity War so that's actually listed in 2018 no that's Infinity War I'm sorry the new one is Endgame I don't think that is listed yet so we're gonna put for 2019 for the data we have Captain Marvel um, so this isn't this is not an efficient way I'm just showing that what I want here is the name of the top grossing movie Hopefully you could figure out a more efficient way to do that rather than searching and entering it. Okay, so now what we've done, we've completed this portion of the first part. Now moving on to the second part, the top world box office worksheet. So we want to create totals at the top of the data. What are the top 10 box office films, domestic and worldwide, top 10 total profits and gross profits? Sort by level one studio, level two sales. Okay. So let's go to the top world box office sheet. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is um, let's start with that sort. Studio and then sales. So we'll just start with the the sort. So I'll highlight the whole area. 774 films here. And I'm going to do a two level sort. So the, four, the first sort we said to do on studio and then this add level to do on dollar amount. So I'm going to do worldwide. Okay. So now I have the studio and then the worldwide box office. Okay. Create a total total row at the top. So let's insert we'll call this total. And then we'll use the quick sum key. get the total. Okay, so we see that we have one problem here is that <clears throat> the production costs are in the millions, but everything else here is truncated into the thousands. So in part two of this video, this is a, a long case. So it's a two part case and it's a double case. So I'm going to create a second video to finish up the case uh, and talk about how to solve the rest of this. So look forward to the completion of how to solve the movie box office case in video two. Thank you.